Hey folks, how's it going? All right, I'm gonna give you as quick of a farm tour as I can and just show you what's going on, you know, about a third of the way through August. And I'm also gonna show you the neglect. I've been at market for four weeks and the only time that I really come out here seems to be to harvest. And I'll show you what happens when you neglect. Stick with me. All right. I think what we'll do is we'll start with uh, we'll start with the negatives. We'll start with the things that are not quite as exciting. So this is the side. This side. This side looks, you know, prosperous, abundant. It's a thing of gosh darn beauty. But now this side. This was a different compost that I tried. And if you recall, I was really upset with this compost simply because it had so many seeds in it. This compost here almost looks to me like more black dirt. Do you see when it gets dry? Like it just cracks like that. Like there's no organic material in there. So I'm not 100% sure what this company that I got this from considers compost. I mean, it's kind of clay and black dirty. Like it is moist down there, but I just can't imagine that there's anything decent in there. I seeded this, oh goodness couple or three weeks ago with this that's like a 27 day or you know before it comes up and you can harvest it now granted that's like baby leaves but I mean it's, it, you still get a nice fresh harvest off of it and yeah I mean these these beds here I hoed uh, and then I plant it so that's the result I guess of of uh, of really you know not being here and not being able to really stay on top of it I was hoping that the crop might outperform some of the you know some of the weeds since I had just hoed everything down but there's always going to be a seed bank in any kind of soil that you bring into your site if you didn't make it I would wager to guess that you cannot guarantee that it's not gonna have a bunch of seeds in it you can't you absolutely can't so the radishes look like they might do something and I do need to get in here and do some basic hand weeding that that's a waste that's that's just gonna get hold under um, two beds of spinach you know and you can see him struggling trying I mean we really have not had warm temperatures so I can't even say that it's the heat it's the heat of summer, spinach doesn't like that. Come on guys, you guys all know that. Like, that's not the deal, man. Tonight we're gonna be down to seven Celsius. We've barely gotten it and stayed above 12 Celsius at night. Like, ridiculous. So, so my two rows of spinach, epic fail. Epic, epic fail. I got some sort of brassica seeds in here. I just noticed the leaves, like that's totally brassica, something, right? You know, I don't know, that almost reminds me of like a pak choy or something, but anyway, I digress. So, now these other beds, so this bed here has been laid down, don't mind that cardboard sticking up, a little dirt never hurt. Um, this was laid down and it's been hoed three times. No, maybe this one was only hoed twice. And then the next ones were hoed three times. I don't have anything in this. But I did pop in just today. Uh, the last of my, my cabbage. You know, if they can get... You know, if they can get a bit of size, they, they might be able to make it. They might not. Who cares? I planted these just a little while ago. Uh, I also planted some extra squash and some... Uh, uh, what did I do? Patty pans. Patty pans, are my family's favorite, and uh, yellow straight neck zucchini, a courgette, I believe uh, uh, the British call it. And uh, I, I, at the end of the day, this this side's a fail to me. It's uh, it's a fail. Not so much these. I planted these late. I get that. It's just that. Oh yeah, and I planted beans in here. And. They, you know, I mean, I, there's no way. We're almost halfway through August. So that means that these would have to be harvesting, you know, whatever. 
start of October. Like that's just never going to happen. So again, very disappointed in uh, in that soil, and uh, that shows you because uh, what did I do? I did two rows of beans so that I could hoe in between, and you still see the weed pressure there. So um, this side with the the different compost from over here, uh, to me, epic fail. This side absolutely chock full of weed seeds and the weed in particular uh, was lamb's quarter. Lamb's quarter is super easy to pick, very very easy to hoe. It sucks when you buy something and it's it's you know sort of empty promises right um, but at the end of the day it seemed like this was sieved. It was extremely fine when I water it watered you just see the water just suck into the if I had a flame weeder, this stuff wouldn't be so bad, but I'd want a discount. But, so let's take a look at some of the successes then. How's that? So this side, in general, this was where I started the year, obviously. And I'm, I, I, I'm not often happy with myself, I, but this looks so good. The leaks, I, I, okay, my neglect side of things, and you'll see it, you'll see it through the entire, oh, I lost a shoe, I lost a shoe. You'll see it through the whole video. Um, like there's weed, stuff's encroaching from the side. There's that last clip I showed you by the beans. Look at all that. Like who does that? What gardener just does, like, a gardener that's going to market five times a week. I, 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 can't, I, I can't keep up. <laughs> I can't keep up. There's there's 10 things on my list to do every day, and I guess I've told my friends this, so I can't uh, change the number. I get between like one and a half and three of them done. Like done, done, completely done. And then I look at the other, you know, like seven and a half. I'm like, oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow never comes. Anyway, um, the leaks, like, if you guys even remember, then this is not a British, you know, veg show specimen, right? Or even a BC willy specimen. But if you remember how tiny these were, these are all green onions here. And, uh, you know, whatever, they're ready to, they're ready to come out. All my balding onions or big onions are kind of starting. And I understand those are tiny. I get it. From what they started with to what they are now, all I'm hoping for is that we get like this is this this year is like a month behind for like everybody three weeks a month behind it's a month behind the weird bugs came out a month behind everything is like a month behind so I'm kind of hoping that September isn't you know you know gonna completely bend me over and. Like, I just, I would like to think that we're going to get that extra month. I put in some more Salanova. Lettuce can deal with the cold. I put in, uh, uh, what is that? Bronze Mignonette or is that Four Seasons? Anyway, it's, it's some more lettuce. I put that in. Uh, about a week ago, I put in another. I, I, I've just been trying to fill in spaces. This is just spring onions. If they, uh, if they happen to come up, you know, whatever. I'll make some onion soup. I've got uh, broccoli, broccoli that I actually need to cut. This is the stuff that I will be freezing for my family. These types of things are still nice. They can, uh, they can go to market. This goes for broccoli soup. It goes for, you know, just like whatever you're going to use broccoli for. So I don't think that my family is going to buy broccoli for the next calendar year. Check out the carrots. The carrots are actually finally coming along. It took so long. Uh, this bed is, I believe, Hercules. It's kind of a, um, kind of a stump carrot. Let's see. What are these starting to look like? Okay, so we got some small ones and some half decent sized ones. Uh, the Hercules variety, I picked that from Johnny Seeds. Uh, it's a fairly quick maturing and it wasn't a very long carrot because I, if you followed along, and if you haven't, let me tell you, I, I just made these beds this year. So this is compost on top of cardboard, on top of, or on top of hay, on top of cardboard. So I knew I couldn't grow eight, 10, 12 inch long carrots. They're gonna hit some cardboard and they're gonna go sideways, right? So 
I tried to pick varieties that, uh, you know, that, that, that were a little bit shorter. So these are going to be ready very, very soon. The beets are coming on nice. That's a different variety of carrot right there. That's uh, mochum. And they're more of a pencil type shape to them. These ones are, you know, whatever, more cylindrical, right? It goes down to a point. See, it's, it's just more, it's, it's a little more even. <laughs> Can you tell where the cardboard was? Can you tell where the cardboard was? On both of them? Drop that one down a little bit. That's pretty funny. Not a huge deal as far as I'm concerned. By next year, that will be all decomposed and hopefully 90% of these weeds have been suppressed but uh, at the end of the day those are those are beautiful pickling carrots they're beautiful baby carrots I did plant uh, a little more that next row there and I guess again I'm, I'm really hoping that September doesn't do me dirty I'm really hoping that September doesn't do me dirty I am planning on everything that I'm planning on keeping out here. I have enough poly uh, that I'm going to do uh, some little hoop houses over, over top of them. It, it, just to give them a chance. Just to give them a chance. Because, I mean, last year it snowed and crushed my greenhouses in almost a month and a year to the day type of thing. Or, or however, right? In a month it'll be a year to the day type of thing since my greenhouses crushed it those have a chance to actually get going so do the beets that i planted like there's a, there's another whole row of beets they do that, that they seem to really come up nice they came up nicer than uh than these ones at the first so that, uh, perhaps i'm learning how that cedar works i don't really know um but again if i can put some poly over those i might be able to keep you know stuff like carrots and beets and certain lettuces and spinaches I, I could probably keep that going until late October in my climate so that's going to be the game plan my herbs are just kicking chicken there's some chives those are going to be just like bushing out huge by next year this is my parsley row so odd I mean uh, it, I've heard so many people in town I gotta weed this and again the neglect right like there is just are you kidding me like that's gotta that's gotta go but look at these, aren't they gorgeous? I have so much beautiful herbs. Oh, I just need to learn how to market them because I, I'm telling you. So cilantro's finally coming up, that's, uh, that's nice. I know I did plant those late. And these are two different varieties of cilantro. You'll notice an extreme difference, right? They're six inches, eight inches tall. This one here is looking healthy and sellable. That's going to flower. I filled in a bunch of the uh, extra spaces with uh, the tomatoes that I still had in the greenhouse. My lemon balm is uh, is really coming on. I'm liking that. That will be a very uh, a late harvest, and uh, I will be dehydrating all of that for teas. I planted a bunch more dill, so that should be coming on in a month. It'll be uh, it'll be ready for pickling season. And look at the weeds. Like look at them. Since being at market, I have not had the chance to come out here and weed or clip up or prune or trim. You know, it's just been, I don't know, I don't, whatever. It's been crazy. Cabbages are looking unbelievable. This one here, I mean, I know I could harvest that already. Look at the size of that bad boy. Holy smack a doodle. Um, so, again, a whole bunch of those. These are red ones, and they seem to mature like incredibly slowly. So, like, if they're ready by the end of October, I'll be tickled. I've got some broccoli over here that's looking good. Or, sorry, cauliflower. My bad. That one there is getting harvested and going to market tomorrow morning. And it's going as fresh as you see it right there. It's going to have dew on it. <laughs> I've got maybe a couple more um, cauliflower like that. I really didn't do... I, I, plant, I started a lot of uh, cauliflower... But a, a lot of them just didn't, didn't take the kale. Oh my goodness, my forest of kale is just awesome sauce. Like, it is just fantastic. Anyone who likes kale chips, get in touch with me. Holler at me. Uh, these I'm going to start harvesting. This is the, uh, what, lacinato, lacinto, what, it's dinosaur kale, whatever. Um, 
So again, those are doing really well. And then uh, my broccolis over here, again, the secondary shoots, they're coming up and they need to be harvested. So I did plan on the broccoli staying in uh, just simply because I know that you can get uh, two or three cuts out of it. And I understand it's not a big, huge, full head, but little broccolettes. Like, what's wrong with those? Those are tender. Those are absolutely beautiful. So, uh, and then I, my spuds in a bucket, I'll probably, uh, I'll, pr I'll probably do like a, whatever. I just, whatever. I haven't put a lot of time in my spuds. I'll do a spud thing later when I do a reveal. Not that big of a deal. But overall, I've tried to fill in every space that I could on, on, on the good side uh, you know, with starts that I had, so I've, you know, lettuce and onions and, and that type of thing. But, uh, there you go. I mean, there's weeds everywhere. Some stuff has done good, some stuff has not done good. And I guess that's, uh, that's growing. You know, at the end of the day, it's a long game. You got a year for a lot of this stuff. Oh, whoops, that didn't work. Okay, we'll try again next year. And like, I got, what, like 40 more cracks at this? So... You know, whatever. It's uh, it's it's been fun. There's been enough successes, you know, to keep the fire lit and to keep me excited and happy. So j there's just a quick little. <laughs> there's a tour of uh, the in the field garden beds, and uh, I'll probably do one on the uh, straw bales, and then I've been asked to do one on the greenhouses as well. So, anyways. If you've stuck with me for this long ramble and walk around my garden, I very much appreciate it. I hope you folks have a wonderful night, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.